Jesus is good to me. Yeah. Oh. When Jesus is good to me. Interesting day on the job, y'all. Another interesting day on the job. It's coming right here. And y'all ain't even gonna believe how that happened, man. Like, I was driving, I went over a bump on the road, and then it was a sudden drop, pow! And all of a sudden, this shit started happening. The code came straight up, I knew exactly what it was, man. Fucking coolant line got busted or something, man. And Loves is eight miles away. God, bro. Eight miles of freaking way. You see where it dropped too, man. I guess that stuff was that damn hard when I dropped, huh? Damn it. So Tennessee taking a toll on me, y'all. Tennessee taking a toll on me, man. Everything pretty much dumped out, y'all. Every freaking thing is dumped out, so this is what we're gonna have to resort to. Thank you to the great state of Tennessee for truck, for rest area. But please fix your damn road, man. Fix your roads. So let me break it down pretty much what happened for y'all. Um, so, so pretty much I'm on 40. And uh, I'm out here cruising, right? Doing, 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 doing my usual 75, 76 mile an hour cruise. I came to a, a freaking pump, but it's not really a pump. It's like a drop in the middle of the freaking road on the right lane. And then I just heard, boom, you right? Like I dropped and I felt it. And, uh, and it rattled a little bit. So I said, like, okay. And uh, Next thing I know, four miles down the road, the freaking engine light came on, and the, and I recognize exactly what it is. I already shown y'all the earlier one, but yeah, the the freaking whatever it is, this thing dropped right here. See where that's leaking? That little uh, that little feeding drop. This wiggle right here. That dropped, that dropped. You know what I'm saying? Like that dropped because of that bump. So now it's it, it been leaking. Pretty much the whole damn coolant is gone. So I'm doing what I have to do. Loves is about five miles west. So I, I'm trying to do what I can do to get me to Loves. So I can get this taken care of, y'all. So y'all gotta bear with me. Y'all gotta bear with the kid. You got to bear with the kid. We're probably gonna do one more round of this. Drive another one mile, two miles down the road. And then hopefully we don't have to repeat again. So y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna keep y'all up to date. Like we're gonna see if we made it to Love's without overheating and the engine catching fire. Yes, sir. So thanks to the man with the easiest job, we don't have to go into the truck stop. We can come right here and, and, and refill this bad boy up. Well, I'm thinking probably two more trips, man, because that thing drain everything out. Two more trips so we can do five miles. I think that is a really, 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 really good trade, you are. Real good trade. I'm telling you, <laughs> it ain't easy. So stop number two within five miles. So letting her cool off. The truck is off. Still licking. You ain't y'all ain't gonna believe it, but still licking. Right there. This literally happened when I went out to a bump on I-40 heading west, doing about 70 something miles an hour, man. I, I think what happened is, I think when I did the bump. It pulled that down or it wiggled that certain way. So I'm using this as a tension because when I pulled it toward me, 
It's leaking a little bit less, man, but last thing the kid is gonna do is try to drive this when it's not operating normally. So we're babying it up. I'm letting it drop to under 200 degrees. I think the fan is working, but I can't trust it. With no coolant, the coolant keep the truck around about 15 degrees cooler than all the things you can put in there. So 2.8 miles to go. I think this time when we get on it, piping ass whooping, we're gonna haul some ass. And hopefully we're gonna be able to get to the loves and handle business. It's just a clamps, y'all. It's just it's just a clamps. It's just a clamps. Now the engine light is on obviously because temperature right all right all right so there we go but it's, it's nothing it's nothing that a little 200 dollars can't fix if that it should take them like 30 minutes to fix this but you know how it is you're still gonna have to sit there and wait and the wait time is what's gonna kill us so when we get there first thing i'm doing is calling the agent hey player look i'm sorry but this ain't gonna be there by 12 o'clock tomorrow because I-40 got the best of me and the coolant came loose. That's what we're doing. That's, you see that? They're rubbing that in on me. Look at that. He's rubbing that in. Driving all fast and stuff because we can't drive fast. We were doing nice and beautiful. 75, 78. Anyway, see you on a little bit. Damn it, boy. Damn it, boy, call me Johnny Danger. Call me Johnny Danger, damn it. <laughs> bro, I, boy, I walk the line of danger. Like, bro, you name it, we out here. We out here. Out here driving on the grace of God, amen. Amen, that's all I can say, man. Woo! At 2.8 miles, I think we made it. Let, let, let's hold on now. Y'all don't. Ah, damn, woman. Sorry, y'all. Lady was calling me ish. Man, man, man. Hold on, y'all. Woo. I don't even know where to pull in, but I'm going to pull right in the face. Right on in the face. 225. It's getting hot. Getting hot, ladies and gentlemen. It's getting steamy out here, man. Man, I ain't trying to hear a damn thing of what they're about to tell me where to park, where no to park, none of that. I'm pulling in, stopping right in the front. So they know we mean business. So they know we mean business. We made it. We made it. Oh, Lord, we made it. All right. I'm just happy that we made it to Lux. I'm just happy we made it to Love's. Obviously, you know, the cool a little, little bit that's left still coming out. I, um, uh, I'm most likely gonna end up changing the type of clamps I have. Uh, friend of mine recommended that I get them to change the, to change the clamps that I have, that's one. But Love says they're just gonna put the same clamps that I got right now. God damn, boy, you heard that, Jake? So yeah, still leaking. Still leaking, but the goal is, I'm gonna go ahead and um and change this up. This right here. See it? this right there. That's see that's why I got that one on there because when it was like that, it just sprayed out. Then I damn that's still hot. Then I pull it like this and it slowed down the flow a little bit. Still licking, but slowed it down. So thank you, fellas. If I can replace that, I'm gonna replace it, but I really think obviously based on what you can see, it's really it's just the clamps right there, man. Somehow it just 
and I'm trying to behave, man. Somehow, when I went over that bump, it, I think it pulled it down because that thing easily moving. I think that's all it did. It pulled it down, got it loose, dumped everything, but we make it safe. You know what I'm saying? When G Jesus is good to me, yeah, oh, when Jesus, when Jesus is good to me, I'm not even going to lie to y'all, you guys, you have no idea what I was thinking, contemplating, What's gonna happen? First of all, I just wanna say fire was what I was thinking. I was like, oh, I'm just about to overheat. But I will have to say, every time something like this go down, I'm usually within helping hand rich. You know what I'm saying? I'm usually within somewhere I can get some help. Now it costs money, but so far I've never been uh, left. Stuff never went down to where to where I gotta be like, oh man. Like 80 miles away from nothing, or 300 miles away from nothing. Y'all know what I'm saying. Yeah. It's 6.05. Now, if you if you look right here, like this, I know it's just the clamp, whatever. It looks you like, you push that. That's how it was after the bump. So that's why I had this on there to tension it yeah. up. Cut a little bit, yeah. I mean, it's looking like that clamp, but if it's anything more than that. Right, right. All right, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are out here. Like I was trying to tell him, this right here was like this. That lick you majorly. That's why I had to use this bad boy. But we made it. Y'all already know we made it. So all good news, baby. All good news. With the exception of losing a couple loads, but all good news. All right. So he's a uh, he's the culprit, y'all. This is the clamp they just removed. This was the one that was on the coolant. So when I hit that bump, the curb, the rattle that I told you about, it's like a drop. I guess it regooled it and just split it right in the middle, bro. Right in the freaking middle. So that's what was leaking right there. So I called my coolant just to top off the coolant alone. Gonna be about 300 bucks. They're gonna charge me an hour and a half for labor. So no, this is. A little bit less than 700 bucks, but you know, that's what we got to do. That's what we got to do.